Grim Rising, Grim Rising Aquarius. I was going to go live with y'all, but um, it's getting ready to storm. <laughs> and I was just like, let me go ahead and put the message out. I had a feeling, I came on here and I asked, well, the question that I put on the live was, was you okay? Are you okay? Um, Because I feel some of y'all say y'all okay, but y'all not. You're just saying... You may tell people that you're okay just to shut them up or so they won't worry, but in reality, no, you're not okay. So I want to put this message out before I go to my opportunity. It's rarely that I like to wear brown hair, but I just feel like grounding is very important, very, very important. And some of y'all may be working on your grounding point in your life. And sometimes you get stuck or you get confused behind it. Or whatever the case may be. Just tell yourself it could have been worse. No matter what you're going through, it could have been worse. No matter what you're feeling, it could have been worse. No matter what bills that need to be paid, it could have been worse. Everything could have been worse. Stop letting situations and start letting stop letting your thoughts overthink of of just how of your way of living and thinking pretty much i say this all the time we, we complain about the smallest things and half of us haven't even sacrificed what our ancestors sacrificed or half of us haven't even been through what our parents been through but we sit here and complain I'm going to do this message because I'm going to tone down the energy because the energy has really been up there. And then after this message, we're going to get back into the bullshit because you already know. For those who do not know me, my name is Spiritual Star 101. Please only take what resonates with this message. Don't make a story fit, all right? Everything you need to know about me is in the description channel um, or description section channel. <laughs> um, and you can go from there. So we're going to go ahead and tap into this. Archangel Michael, as you use me in the highest way, right? As I give a clear and commit to an understanding message to Aquarius or just whoever needs to hear it. As that you bring forth to whoever needs to hear it and block out whoever does not need to hear it at this time. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, God is the most important universe. Now, I wanted to come on here just to let you know it's, it's all about choosing your words, too. I tell y'all that all the time. You know, somebody else out there has a situation that's worse than yours, Right? Somebody wants some type of forgiveness, Aquarius. We all know that. But you got to stop focusing your energy on that. You know somebody is sorry. You know somebody done you wrong. Whatever. Stop focusing your energy on that. Because in reality, when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. All right? And then you have, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Did I not say, how do you feel? Then I'm not just saying in the beginning, some of y'all come on here or some of y'all just go through day-to-day -day life and you just like, everything is fine, everything is fine, but re in reality, it's not. Because if that's the case, you wouldn't be wondering when this person is going to say sorry, when this person is going to come back, when this person will do anything. You have to definitely trust in divine timing. Only timing will tell. Now, for me to pull these cards out, you know, it was something more to it. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. That's it. That's it. The people, because half the people that you're on here, or not even on here, because I don't care what you're doing in your spare time. Half the people that, that you constantly think about, you have to ask yourself, if I was to pass away, would they even come to my funeral? If I get sick, will they give me money for medication? If I need a ride to the hospital, will they take me? If I needed a surgery done and I needed some type of organ or we was a match, would they give it to me? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. That's all about self-love, Aquarius. And I feel in the energy, this may be going on my A1 day ones, but somebody strongly is connecting to me. And when you connect to me and I don't, I really, and you giving me bullshit answers and something is really, really going on then that's when I get aggravated. If I ask you how you doing, tell me. Just don't say it's okay. Because what happens is, by all of us being connected as a soul family, we feel it. 
And I'm not talking about Colleen. Colleen's in the hospital. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking, I mean, I'm talking about something deeper, okay? Definitely something deeper. So this may be a members only message, really. You are trying to how you are trying too hard. Give it time. Period. I tell y'all, you don't have to overthink. It's no rush. It's no rush. Stop beating yourself up wanting to know why. You have to trust. Thank you, spirit. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And that's in any union, too. If somebody can't accept you for just your natural beauty, because there's times I wear lashes, sometimes I don't. There's times I wear ratchet colors, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I want to be professional and just wear whatever. And maybe that's how you are, too. But at the same time, you have to accept yourself before you accept somebody else's situation. Being an empath, you have to definitely accept your emotions, balance your emotions before you can sit here and say, I, I know how you're feeling. I get what I get how you're feeling. I know how you're feeling, all that. Sorry, y'all. It's just been a while since I wore my um. <laughs> but you have to, you have to really just ask yourself that or tell yourself, not ask. Because it's your body. You have to tell yourself that. That I am going to accept my way of living, my way of what I do, what I say, when I say, where I say, how I say, before I can sit there and help others. Because a lot of you want to help others. And I'm kind of giving you insight of what to do. But a lot of you don't watch me. You just come to my live when it's free questions. And then you ask me what I'm saying right now. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. We never know what's in our favor. We never know what our gifts are. Spirit gives gifts to everybody. But it's up to you to open your gift. You don't want to open your gift? Then cool. Okay? You don't want to sit there and go deep on the inside and realize what you need to work on, then cool, because we can sit there and point the finger. But at the same time, the same person that you're pointing the finger to, how are they living? Or at, how are they living? <clears throat> I'm going to end this message at 11.11. It's time for some type of new beginning, y'all. What else, spirit? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. You already know the outcome. You are the narrative of your own life. In order to see here, it's no, it's no, ooh, I need to please spirit. Spirit already know your right. Spirit already know your wrongs. Spirit already know what you're going to do. He knows it before you even know it. So stop trying so hard. Here we go. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. And this don't even have to be a relationship with somebody else. This could just be a relationship with yourself, because you got to have a relationship with yourself. That's the only way you're going to be able to understand you for you to tell somebody how to treat you. If you don't even know how to treat yourself, who are you to tell somebody what to do? Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Ashe, you cannot change situations. You can't change people's feelings. There's two people. Let me, let me go ahead and put this out there. I'm from, I was born in Texas and I'm, I grew up in North Carolina. So my accent is a little different. So if I want to say Shaka or Chakra, Instead of saying chakra, however, I will say it. Because I know you can watch me, but I muted you. Mm -hmm. And for the other one, thine, whatever the hell your name is, you need to go ahead and move on, sugar. Or man, I don't even know if you're a man or a woman, because what what kind of name is thine? Thine, 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 thine. What kind of name is that? You need to go ahead and move on. Because apparently if my messages doesn't resonate with you, because I, I, I swear I could I say in the beginning, I only take what resonates. Maybe you're not getting that part. Maybe you're skipping that part. And that goes for anybody else. Sometimes if you talk to me on the phone, 
you will hear my accent accent. The only reason why I don't say it when I do my messages, because I want y'all to, un or it doesn't come out strongly, because I train my voice for when I do my messages to not sound so countrified, because you may not know what I'm saying. You'd be like, what'd she say? Huh? So keep that in mind. Everybody has a different accent. Everybody pronounces things differently. So go on. Go on. And it'd be, it be people like that. Once you know yourself, that's what I'm saying. Once you know your body and once you know yourself, you know your voice, then you will know exactly how to approach people. It won't be no problem with your throat chakra. You'll know exactly how to respond and not react because it'll be your crown chakra. That's why it's important to know the chakras. Chakra, chakra, whatever. Chakra kind, it doesn't matter. Moving forward. I know I'm a little bipolar. Leave me alone. Okay, you got special union of my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing in sexual union. I said sacred union, but honor the place in one another where you are internal souls for there you will find your bliss. I keep telling y'all, maybe y'all y'all companion is not here. If you are spiritual, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe your companion is in the 5D looking down on you. Maybe your companion is not in your city. Maybe your companion is not in your state. You have to keep that in mind. That's why we have a whole bunch. That's why we have all these states. You never know where your true love is. But if you stay boxed in, how are you even post? How are you to even explore? Somebody is really feeling heavy. And you sit here and you say that you're okay, but you're not. You sit here and say that you're happy, but you're not. You sit here and go through life every day, putting on the front, faking it till you make it. And you're not. And this may be retrograde. And a lot of you are healing. And here goes sacred union. That's what I thought that said. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. When you close your eyes and you think to yourself, because a lot of you may can't meditate, but when you close your eyes and you think to yourself, there should be a light that comes. Follow the light, Aquarius. Follow the light. All right? Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. When I do messages telling Aquarius of how, what it is, y'all don't want to watch that. But when I do messages telling you about somebody else, that's where it saddens at. That's where it saddens at. You too busy worried about how somebody else is doing rather than what you are doing. And then you wonder why you're single. It is important right now to take a step back and spend time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself, to do for yourself, to enjoy yourself, your inner childhood. Because once you surrender, at times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it all will work out. Continuous on peace, love, and light. Is this 11-11? Continuous on peace, love, and light. Staying healthy, staying blessed, staying safe at this time. All right? Staying high vibrational. Until we meet again, what is like some of the next? Namaste.